Question six. Suppose you have a two variable function. The domain of the function is the set of all points, x and y, such that, well, this guy is defined. Square root of x minus y is defined. Remember, the domain is the set of all input values. So, let us go back to elementary calculus. If you have the square root of any quantity for the domain, the quantity must be larger than or equals to zero. There is no difference between the elementary calculus and multivariable calculus. In this case, we have to have all x and y such that x minus y is larger than or equal to zero. If you want to take a look at the graph, if you want to visualize this domain, we're just going back to algebra. In algebra, we learn how to graph an inequality. X minus Y is larger than or equal to zero. So first, graph X equals to Y, which is just this line, increasing line here. Then you can use a checkpoint, a checkpoint like one and zero, zero and one, negative one and zero, any number for X and Y works. So let us check one and zero. One and zero is here. If one and zero satisfies this relation, then we're going to shade this part. Otherwise, we're going to shade the opposite part. One minus zero is one which is larger than or equals to zero. So what's the meaning of that? It means that this point is located in the solution set. So this is the domain of this function. Now, what about the range? If somebody asks you to find the range, where well, you're going to say that, hey, it's the set of all Z values such that, well, you are taking the values from the domain, X and Y, or the Z value that you've defined here, are part of the domain, am I right? So x and y is part of the domain. So take a look at the domain. The x and y values that you can enter are all x larger than or equals to y. Well, in that case, when you're analyzing the range, the range can only take on positive or zero Z values. They are above X, Y plane. So all positive or zero real values. Another interpretation, here you have all Z values that Z is larger than or equal to zero or bracket zero to positive infinity. That's the range of the function. If you need to review elementary calculus, recall that. If you have function y equals to square root of x, the way that we graphed this function was, well, it takes zero and positive numbers. This is y equals to square root of x. The domain, as you remember, is zero to positive infinity, zero to positive infinity, and the range or the set of all output values are zero to positive infinity as well. The y values as the output values were all positive. The range zero to positive infinity. You can always go back 
and reduce the number of variables and intuitively think about what we learned in elementary calculus. But note that in elementary calculus, the free variable was x, input values, and y depends on x. These are the output values. But when it comes to multivariable functions, like two variable function, the domain is part of the frame, two dimensional. The range still is on the real line, z axis. Let's take a look at the graph together. So this function is going to be square root of x minus y. Let's just decrease the bounds so you have a better understanding of this surface in this space. This is part of the graph, as you can see. It doesn't take the negative values. Your z, which is the range, starts from the origin and go up. The range are all located on z-axis. 